centuries ago, a newfound spirit of discovery inspired mankind to broaden its horizons. Art, anatomy, architecture, engineering, nature. Not one field was left untouched in this new approach of universal thinking. I have always embraced a concept borrowed from the Renaissance, embodied in a sentence by the great Leonardo da Vinci over 500 years ago. Art and science are disciplines that must walk together hand in hand. The creative team at Pagani Automobili merges the artistic and technical disciplines in their everyday work. For the past decade, the Pagani Zonda has been critically acclaimed by the automotive media, opinion leaders and car enthusiasts all over the world. It was clear from the start that the next Pagani would not be a replacement of the Zonda, carrying over its race car character. A new breed had to be born, from a new inspiration. The concept of this new car was inspired by the fascination of flight, by the elements air and wind. It was our goal to transform these somewhat intangible aspects into a material creation. When you talk about cars, wind and air are terms normally only used when it comes to the aerodynamic aspects. But with the Magali wire, wind was the thing to also draw the aesthetic lines of the car and reflect its character. The wire is aggressive but elegant. reaches the dramatic air intakes to end gracefully in the tail lamp assembly. The styling of the Pagani Wider was perfected over the course of five years. Eight scale models and two full scale models highlight the subtle changes during the delicate research. over 1,000 of the wire's components. What happens here is a ballet of perfection. Even the car's name tag positioned on the rear bumper is carved in a 24-hour process from a solid block of aluminium. It's the Pagani way of reassuring its customers that their cars are built to their own standards, exceeding the highest in the industry. A crown jewel of the Mercedes AMG V12 is also born in these laboratories. A part so complex that it requires five days of machining and finishing. that would 
would reflect the spirit we wanted to give, and AMG immediately understood our requirements, that there was more than just power and talk figures we were after, the noise and power delivery, allowing for an experience similar to a jet unleashing all its power the moment before takeoff. One man, one engine. Skilled master mechanics individually handcraft each engine. A commitment to Mercedes AMG's tradition of precision and quality. A dry sump lubrication with two scavenge pumps developed to withstand sustained lateral acceleration of over 1.7 G. With more than 700 horsepower and over 1,000 newton meters of torque on a car that weighs less than 1,400 kilograms, it's vital that the engine responds to the slightest input made by the driver's right foot. The design of the turbocharger and intake system is a result of the drivability requirements, and the turbocharged V12 in the Pagani Wider features the immediate throttle response of a normally aspirated engine. Once an AMG engine is built, it's signed off by the master mechanic before being installed at the engine dyno, where tests guarantee that the power plant fully meets the power characteristics and operational requirements. An efficient engine requires an efficient exhaust system, and the exhaust for the Pagani Wider combines cutting-edge design with state-of-the-art engineering. Pagani Automobili went to MHG Group for the task, a company with over 20 years of experience in creating the most demanding Formula One exhaust systems. A specific grade of titanium alloy sheet is chosen to be bended and laser welded to form a tube. To create the distinctive elliptical shape of the wire's muffler, the tube is positioned in a large hydro tool, where high pressure liquid makes it expand into the mold. The hydro-formed part, tubes and interiors are then assembled by hand to become the final muffler. The assembled muffler is polished before it's given the signature dark blue shine with a high temperature treatment. After the Pagani signature has been sandblasted, the parts are ready for the final assembly on the jig, again by hand. Once assembled, the complete exhaust assembly weighs less than 10 kilograms and stands as an automotive piece of art by itself. The general shape resembles a wing to counter natural lift and make the car as aerodynamically neutral as possible, allowing the wire to reach 370 kilometers per hour Top speed, however, never was a priority for Pagani. The focus is on dynamic driving situations. The wider features active aerodynamics. A control unit monitors the behavior of the car reading the values for speed, steering angle, lateral and longitudinal acceleration, and yaw rate. In milliseconds, the system determines which of the four wheels requires additional downforce to balance the car, and individually actuates four aerodynamic surfaces. The system also works under emergency braking from high speed, raising the aerodynamic surfaces as air brakes and assisting the work of the Brembo carbon ceramic brakes.
The 380mm diameter CCM brake discs for the Pagani Waira are manufactured exclusively at the Brembo plant in Stetsano. In this high-tech environment, the world's most innovative braking solutions are developed. Packed with technology deriving from aerospace, the brake discs are lighter, more than 30%, compared to similar cast iron units. The brake disc is machined, final quality controlled and assembled with the remaining components required by the Brembo's patented fit. Continuing Pagani's tradition of paying homage to past eras in automotive history, the Waira features details such as leather latches, tracing their roots back to the race cars of Horacio Pagani's mentor, Juan Manuel Fangio. Everything, down to the smallest switch, has been designed and created specifically for the Waira. All aluminium parts are machined from a block, like a sculpture is born from a block of marble. We create the parts of the interior from blocks of aluminium, from carbon fiber and other refined materials, such as natural leather, materials that tell a story by themselves. In the creation of every one of these parts, there is obviously a great deal of technology and precision involved, but none of the parts would be able to be appreciated by the mere fact of having been made by the best CNC tool available. An object is able to transmit emotions when there are the manual skills involved, the genius from the head being expressed through skilled hands, passion, heart. Only then does an object come to life, is given a soul, and is able to tell a story.